Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix MSI monitor not detecting HDMI. It's going to be an easy and fast fix. I'm going to show you four different ways. But the first way, most common one guys, people make a mistake. They're connecting the wrong wire in the wrong place. This is what the HDMI cable looks like. This is what the end looks like. And on your monitor, you want to go ahead and look for this. This is where you want to plug in your HDMI cable. Make sure it's tight, it's properly connected. You also see HDMI written down here usually, okay? These are USB slots. Don't use these. It will not even work, okay? This is an HDMI slot. This is an HDMI slot. These are USB slots. Now that we have that out of the way, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and detect your display manually. So do this. Right-click on your Start button right here. And then just click on System. And then once this opens, I'm going to show you what exactly to choose. Click on display right here. You want to scroll down. And then what you need to do under multiple displays, you want to click on this button right here that says detect. And this will basically detect any other displays that are connected that may not have automatically connected to your PC. And once done, just close, it, close the settings and that should work. Another method is to update your display driver. So right click on start again. And then what you're going to do is you want to go ahead and click on a device manager. All right. So once this opens up, I want to show you what to do. Click on a display adapters. Click on this arrow right here. All right. This will open up your uh, display adapters, bring, basically bring a drop down. So I have an Intel HD graphics for 1600. Just right click this, click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for updated driver software and go ahead and install the drivers. If that still does not work, guys, the last method is to detect displays using the Intel graphics control panel. So go to your desktop, find any empty space, right click, click on graphics properties, and then this will load up, click on display. And then what you want to do right here, guys, under multiple displays, click on multiple displays. And then you'll see this option right here that says select one or more active displays. Just click on this down arrow. This will show you the other monitors that are connected. You can go ahead and select that monitor, which I don't have connected right now. But if you would see another option of your monitor, for example, the MSI monitor right here listed, click on that, click on apply, go ahead and save. Really, that is and simple, guys. So I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing that like button as well as subscribing to find a solution. I'll see you guys in the next one.